hello welcome back to my youtube channel it's Don here so today i am with you um yeah for Don and julia creates well what can i say julia has set the challenge for this month um and she said she's going to keep on setting this challenge until i get it right and until i like this challenge and i think she's being mean so i think you all need to feel sorry for me um i'm not joking anyway what are we to do let me show you the stuff and then i'll explain to you what we're doing look i've even put my instructions on my little seriously notepad just julia look seriously really you did this to me anyway <laughs> um we are allowed to, to use the dotty daisy and polka dot florals so these are these gorgeous floral stamps which i absolutely love and they are from the garden tot um collection we are allowed to use the Stamplementals edition too, so all good. Um, so I really like the fact that we can use them. We're allowed to use two stencils, um, a circle stencil from um, that Julia's designed and the flower stencil as well that Julia has designed. So what are we to do? We are to make two one layer cards, one to be clean and simple and one to be busy mixed media style how mean is that because julia set this challenge for me and as most of you know i failed miserably at it like i i failed terribly at it um i i like dimension i like to put dimension on my cards so this is going to be super super hard um i think that the clean and simple card is going to be quite easy to do because uh, i think that'll yeah because i can just put one stamp on color it in and then my card's done so that's what i'm thinking so i know that for the clean and simple one i can achieve a one layer card <laughs> however the mixed media stout um oh the card base that i'm using is a slimline one for this clean and simple one and it's eight and a quarter by four inches so for the mixed media one i've decided just to get some watercolor cardstock out of my stash um this is just a5 and it's 300 gsm i think um i've just scored it down the middle and then this will create my card now we're allowed to use any mediums that we would like so um i have got a few things out i've got my um copic pens which i think i'll use for the clean and simple one um so i've got my memento tuxedo black ink this is what i'm going to be using for the clean simple one because i am using the acrylic uh, the alcohol ink um markers and this works brilliantly with that whereas if i was to use my archival ink well it, it would just smudge it so it look awful however if i was to use memento ink with my um shimmer powders which are very much like brochures and magicals um this ink would run so i need to use my archival so if anything to do with water use your archival ink anything to do with alcohol ink pens use your memento so i've have, I got them two out so for the mixed media card i have these in my stash um, and she said we could use anything and i absolutely love these and i don't get them out enough and they are the shimmer powders from nuvo um like i said they are very very much um like um the brushes that people have been using i just love these they're just very very shimmery and they're absolutely gorgeous um so yeah so we've got some really really nice um colors in there so i thought we could use them and then i also have these which i got from a scrawler box but i love the intensity of color um these are marabou art crayons and we've got a magenta is it a magenta uh where's the color does it say the colour? Oh, we have a pomegranate, we have a sunrise um, yellow and we've got a plum. So I thought they would be nice to colour whatever image that we're going to do in. So, she's so mean. How am I going to do this, guys? Like, seriously? Yeah, seriously? <laughs> how are we going to do this okay i think we're going to be okay with this one so clean and simple is this one so she's asked for clean and simple we're doing clean and simple so i am going to get out so i'm good for this one i'm going to use the dotty daisy um i'm just going to grab myself a stamping block and these i got from samantha k um so I've noticed though, since I've learned how to stamp properly, I've very rarely got my stamping platform out. How cool is that? I think that's very cool. Right, okay, so 
I just grab my memento ink because like I said what I'm going to do with this one is um, I'm going to colour this in using my alcohol ink pens so this one I think will be easy because if I just treat it as if I was yeah doing it on um, I like a little square I think that would work so yeah I think this one is definitely making sure I've got plenty of ink on that I feel like I may need to um, re-ink my ink pad right please work this is why oh, she's just mean she really is just mean she'll be laughing you know she'll be watching this and she'll be laughing going you will get there done you will do it we'll make sure that you can do a one layer card this is for your own good we're just teaching you how to do it without the cheating that's what she's saying yep i don't know if any of you watched our live we did a live together oh my goodness me it was so much fun hopefully we'll get it up on our channels very soon um but yeah she won oh i shouldn't have told you that because if you haven't seen it anyway it was fun it was a lot of fun oh look hey yay right we've done something let's color it in okay so i'm gonna go with reds for the flower so i am using uh, i don't want that one although it's the same color so we can use that right um i am using what color is that r12 for oh my lightest shade but i want to go in with my darkest which is r17 so um and where all the shadows are that's where i'm going to put my um yeah put all my darkest color so i'm not brilliant at um copic mark like um copic coloring i know that our julia she is absolutely amazing um but yeah i just sort of know that i know enough to get by um but you know the more you do it um the more practice you have um the better you'll become so i'm sort of doing a flicking motion using my pen but where all the shadows are to go so where the petals overlay that's where i'm popping in my color yeah see i also like to color on like and cut out because i go over the lines a lot so this is really mean because i can't just go you know cut it out yeah i think she's being mean she has she's been very mean a lot i know that it's gonna be a fun challenge so honestly don't feel sorry for me because yeah i brought it on myself i cheated didn't i last time i think she's hoping i'll cheat again so that she can give me a naughty step challenge that's what i think she's she's hoping right i am using now my r14 and just to blend uh, this up so this is my mid tone so when coloring in you need um, a dark tone mid tone and your light tone and I'm just doing it in <coughs> um, sort of flicking motion so this is how um, watching the few videos that I've watched from Clit and Cloud uh, um, and this is how she um, teaches you how to do it and you know what it's absolutely she's absolutely amazing so i highly suggest i mean you don't have to pay for her classes she does have some free ones and she is here as well on um youtube but yeah um she's got some really really good tips on um yeah how to color in and the best way to do it so okay i'm coming in with my light tone and we're just going to um add that onto the end and blend that out so just like that so I do have pro markers as well I love my pro markers um, but I think as they dry out because I, I do actually use my pro markers with my Copic markers um, to fill in uh, the color blanks because I mean to get the full set you're talking <laughs> thousands I think um, so I do use my pro markers um, to sort of fill in and I love them but I think what I'm going to do is they do sell them in with a brush nib so if you're if you're starting out and you want to start out with something um, but you don't want to pay the prices for Copic then um, you can buy the pro markers in a brush nib so and I would say they're about uneven with the Copics the only thing about the Copics is they do actually sell the reinkers, which is why I've gone over to them. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. And plus, I, I just like the feel of them. 
right so there's that let me just pop these back in <coughs> so there's our um yeah that color right let's do the middle so um now <coughs> oh, i've got a frog in my throat i'm going to use yellow so i'm going to use y double zero um y11 and y18 so again where all the shadow bits are that's where i'm going to sort of put my darkest color um so just around there and actually i wasn't sure if this card base would hold up to the copic marker in ah, we're okay i've just realized i could do with probably putting something underneath there um just to protect it so yeah um my mid-tone so why 13 so i'm just going to blend that out like so and then coming in with my y double zero and then just again just blending all of that out oh, looks lovely right now i need a green i don't know what the best greens are i need to ask our lovely julia I was asking her the other day what the best pinks are and she was like she said straight away what dusky pinks or bright pinks she knows me so well because dusky pinks right okay oh i know julia does um she uses like teals and yellows and stuff which look fab but i'm not that confident because i don't really know color theory so i'm going with um g07 so what i've done with all of my pens i've actually put a little um sticker on to tell me what uh color it is because uh, i have like um a pen storage holder so yeah i thought it was a bit annoying to pull them out every five seconds to have a look so yeah i uh sat for hours doing it but i had so much fun i love organizing i love to have some sort of organization there so yeah okay i'm gonna go on to geo5 um and bring this out so again i'm starting off with my um dark tone coming in with my mid tone and then we finish with our light tone so yeah okay and then i'm using go2 uh, to blend all of that out nicely so just like this okay and I think that looks gorgeous. Okay, so let's put, pop these back in. Make sure I put them back in the right order. Um, and then I think for these little circles on here, I want to use a brown. Um, so I think I'm actually going to go with um, just two colours. So I'm going to go with 77. And put a little bit in there. And then I going to go in with my 71 um, and just blend that out so um so it just shows that you don't really need you don't have to have the three we can still work without now i do have the little bits that are all around so what do i want to do with the other little dots because i think it'll be nice to put a color in there um Oh, I have this colour which looks really, really nice. So, car, uh, Cardinal, and it is Red 59, R59. So, I think I'm just going to go around and pop this colour in, because I think it's quite a nice dark red colour. So, where there's any sort of dots, that's where I'm going to put them. So how gorgeous is that? I mean, I could leave it there and then I've definitely got that one right. Um, but let's add something else. So we have a border on here. So I'm going to use this border and I think I might use one of the sentiments. So this is the uh, Stampamentals issue two, edition two, sorry, issue two. Could be issue two. There is three in total and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Right, put you across there okay if i can there we are and i'm thinking 
let's have a coloured border and I'm thinking bright green. This is probably going to go really, really wrong, but you know, we don't know till we try. So I'm going to go start off with at the bottom. So just like that. Oh, didn't quite put enough ink on, but do you know, I quite like that. So let's see if we can do the same um, all the way around and have it so that it's not perfect because I actually really like that. Yes. Oh, I like. So I'm being very sort of scarce with it. Oh, um, but that's because I haven't actually used this one before. I'm going to do that up at the top. I like. Yeah. Um, I think the border just really helps, doesn't it? I wonder if my green's running out. And then here, I'm just making sure you can see. I've just realised that's quite dark over there. So let's bring, oh, you can tell I've left my, see, this is what happens. Because I didn't leave my stamp on the paper that much. It hasn't, um, so it hasn't stamped properly. But I left that on for quite a while and it stamped perfectly. So, yeah, if you, that is something to be aware of when stamping. Um, just giving the paper a enough time for it to um yeah um for the ink to soak into the paper so yeah and then right oh, perfect okay so there's that and then the last thing that i want to do is add on a sentiment i think that's actually turned out really really nicely um so what scent i'm gonna put crazy friends um because it's this is you, Julia. Crazy friend. Thinking that I can quite easily just do, yeah, a one layer card, even though I have. It's not actually that bad. I have done them in the past without realising I've done them, but it's when you have to think about it, isn't it? So, right, okay. There we are. So, oh, look. And there is my first card. Oh, I'm pleased with that. So, no naughty step challenge yet, Julia. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't get a naughty step challenge because, yeah, I don't, well, I think it'd be quite funny because I'd probably cheat on the naughty step challenge as well. But don't tell her that. She doesn't need to know that. Right, let's move that off to the side. Okay, so now I am going to do, this is going to be so hard. Right, first of all, I'm just going to grab my brush Make sure there's plenty of water on it, and I just want to put water or for the front, and then to stop it curling, I'm going to put water on the inside as well. So just like that, and that keeps your card straight, which is just a fab. Okay, what colour? So um I did get a Catherine wheel, so should we see what that's like? So let's put a bit on, on there. So this is my background. Um, what about, oh, a little bit of this colour, which is Sunray Crosset. I'm used to set reading, so please do forgive me. And Meteor Shower, I like the idea of Meteor Shower, so, so let's just add that in as well. Okay, so now I've got that, I'm just going to spray it, oh, wrong way, I need a mist. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous. Just want a bit more. Although I don't think I should be going with the the blackest one. Like and this is just to create my background. Love, 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 love. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? Right. So I'm just going to just swim that around. A little okay gorgeous and then what I'm gonna do is oh drop everything I'm just going to dry that off so I'll get this dry and then I'll come back okay so I'm back um I have lots of color left on here so what I'm going to do is I've just grabbed another sheet of watercolor cardstock out of my stash 
because I don't want to waste this colour. It's just turned into a beautiful colour. And they start a background for something else. So try not to waste if we can help it. Right, okay. So I have dried that. Um, I ended up tipping off quite a bit of the water because there's quite a bit on there. But I'm loving how it looks. And do you know what I really like? I like the fact that we've got that colour on the back as well. So that's our background. Now, what I was going to do is I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Help me. I don't know why I'm thinking. Right. Um, because, uh, see, this is what is really, really frustrating. Because the first thing I want to do is I just want to go and get a piece of white paper and start stamping these bits and pieces on. These don't even look like they've been used. They have been used. I've used them loads. Um, hmm. But I did actually use my stamp cleaner on them, so there you go. Right. Um, what do I want to do? I quite like the idea of that being off in that corner. So let's use that, I think. Oh, this is going to not be fun. Right, I don't want to, oh, it'd help if I stamp, if I put it down the right way. Right, I don't want this bit here, so I'm literally just wanting it to be like that there. So this is going to be, yeah. Right, um, I'm going to use my archival ink, because I am going to use those art crayons, I think, to colour. Um, I will be putting some white on as well, just so that I think, I think... Shut up. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Yeah, you're all sort of here with me while I experiment. So I'm just going to hold that down just there, like so. I'm hoping we get a good impression. We have. Oh, that's lovely. So that looks like a little umbrella in the corner, doesn't it? I want to draw one on the other side because she did say it had to be busier. Oh, I think that might look nice. So let's have one in the on the other side. So again, I'm just going to ink up that bottom bit. And this is a good way of um, not using all of your, using all the stamp and how, oh, don't do that. Oh, I've just messed that up, haven't I? Oh, well, let's see what we can do. Right, really hope, pushing that down because I want a nice good impression. Oh, there we go. That doesn't look too bad, does it? That looks fine. That looks fine. Right, okay. Um, just need to clean off my stamp. Yeah, I use my, um, I have a, I still don't know where I put it. I keep, oh, there it is. I have a stamp cleaner. It seems to work brilliantly. I actually got this, um, with my embossing stuff so I bought the tool and everything and it yeah it works a treat right okay so there's that one. Oh, we do have the stencil as well um, oh, I am lost Julie's gonna be loving this video she's thinking what are you doing Dawn? Dawn what are you doing? and I'll be saying I don't know I'm winging it because I don't like one layer cards and you were very mean to me and you gave me a one layer card challenge. Do you know, I think it's me doing the morning, isn't it? Yeah. I do love you, Julia. <laughs> she's loving this. I know she's loving this because she knows I, I can't do one layer cards. I want to put dimension. Dimension should be on this card, Julia. We should be having dimension. Right. Um, let's... Oh, I don't know what I want to do. This is hard. This is right. This is really, really hard because, like I say, I'm, I'm wanting to pop on. I think I'm just using the same flower. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to use this just because it's set up. I really haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But we can do it together. Um, oh, I tell you what, I will be adding. I think I'm gonna have to because yeah but I think we should add some souffles I love the souffles we have both seem to be as addicted to the souffles as each other because yeah 
we um julia messaged me to say she'd bought the um the new limited edition uh, Valentine's like love collection um souffle and I t <laughs> two o'clock in the morning while I was at my mum's I got an email through it. I, ch I was checking my emails and yeah <laughs> um it was there to say they were out so I may have accidentally popped them in my basket so yeah I think we're both um the same on that right okay what I'm gonna do then now is maybe let's color it in so I've got some really thin paintbrushes so let's do that oh this is so hard it's so hard it's not exactly how I look she just said mixed media so I because I yeah she said mixed media I think I've gone a bit too I should have done my stamping first I think but I, I don't know I don't know I don't know any of this oh a lot that is going on a treat it seems to be so actually this might work so because I've used those shimmer powders it seems that when I'm putting the water on and I'm moving the um, this pigment through the leaves it is moving that shimmer powder so you're getting a, a brighter color oh I'm pleased with that so yeah happy nice happy accident so let's to go do this I have a feeling I may need to turn my oven off because we're having a chicken dinner today so I am filming in, in advance as I normally do um, but yeah oh I hope this works I hope it looks nice I hope it, it looks as nice as the other one so I mean this is completely out of my comfort zone um, absolutely out but I mean do you know I don't blame Julie because of the fact that I put her out of her comfort zone a lot um, <laughs> which you know so it, it's quite nice we won't we won't go to green um, so we're not going to mention the, the green so I think this is her way of getting me back for the green um, but yeah it's also good because she knows that it's something that um, I struggle with. So because she knows that um, it is something that I'm struggling with, that um, she's just pushing me to um, to do it, and because it's not something I would um, choose to do. I do like that though. I am loving how this is looking. So I'm just going to put some more pigment on there. Oh. I was going to use my gelatos, um, but then I saw these in my drawer that came in my scrawler box, and I thought, actually, I remember them being very, very pigmented, um, and I'm liking them. So, yeah. Okay, so just making sure that we go all the way around like this. Oh, I like that. Really liking it. So I'm just going to put it in this one. Right, I need to quickly go and turn that oven off. I can smell the chicken. It smells amazing. But I think it's been in a bit too long. So I'm going to go and turn that off and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Gorgeous. Love it. Right, let's bring some of this purple in. Now I have a glass mat. So I'm actually using this mat as my... Um, my palette but you can use um you could even use your acrylic blocks um as a palette for if you if you're wanting to use crayons like i am right i'm going to actually um color these ones in the purple so i don't mind if we cover over those um spots as well because we are just getting our color down um but loving how it's looking yeah really really nice so don't get me wrong I'm f I am wanting the only thing that keeps going through my head is oh I should what I should do is stamp out one of the ladies and then put her on and she can be um on a bit of dimension and yeah so it, I am finding it quite difficult um but you all know me I'm up for a challenge <laughs> So, yeah, I think we all need to thank Julie, Julia, don't we? Because we, she's the one who sort of pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me do something that, you know, I, I do struggle with. Um, and that's what these challenges are for. So I am sorry, Julia, if I have done nothing but whinge. That was not my intention. 
but yeah it is fun <laughs> it's all right because in a few a uh, few weeks time we've got the one for next month uh, the next um, one um, and then it's our lovely Julia's turn again and then it's my turn so I'm gonna have to think of something really fun for that aren't I I think so so okay I'm loving how that looks I just want a bit more purple so in um, here I'm hoping yeah you can see uh, just so that it's more um, you can see it more so if you can hear anything that's because I've just put the pans on so it's like um, and they had water on the bottom of them so I, I can't I don't know what like a hissing noise right loving that so I think that looks gorgeous now I'm not sure how this yellow is going to um, react but I'm just going to go straight on with it actually like so and then using my paintbrush yeah let's just ink that out uh, well spread that ink out sorry Ooh, I think I'm going to have them on there as well I like that colour I love how it's mixing with the shimmer powders um, I think that's really really nice right okay oh i love that yeah really really love that right i'm wondering just have a look i think it just all turns into mud yeah right okay just think i need like a green color so just pop the lids back on here just so in case I drop them I do like that that looks really really cool um I know what I can use so um I'm thinking my distress inks what about my evergreen brow or I have pale paint or um my forest green I'm thinking the forest green actually I think the rest might be a bit too too light for what I'm wanting so I'm just going to put that on there and then we're just going to grab this and I just want to put in in oh yeah that looks nice I didn't want to sort of use my distress inks because that's the first thought was just to get my distress um inks or oxides out um, and we can do colour that way but yeah I thought you know what I've got so many different mediums that I just don't use um, I'm always using the same thing so why not choose something just a little bit different but um, yeah so I'm glad we sort of started off with something a little bit different so okay just putting it all in these little areas and then um, I think it will be waiting for this to dry I'm wondering whether to add some stenciling on but I think it's a bit too late for the stenciling isn't it right so I'm just going to do this colour all the way around like in these dots it's, I don't know I just I quite like it I think it sort of goes with the piece it's very grungy which I really really like definitely not my style but I like I do and I know I sound surprised but I'm very surprised because this is not the direction that I thought this piece was going to go in so really pleased with how it's looking very interested to see how Julie is now she'll be really bright colors as she always is and I think she's going to do her um, her simple card. I think it's going to be very similar to mine, except she'll do dollar border, um, whereas I use the stamp. So I think it wouldn't surprise me if she uses the, sta the same stamp as her focal point. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I do think that she'll, um, for her mixed media one, she'll definitely use the stencils and other things. Um she'll make it really really nice and it'll be all nice and bright colors so not as grungy as mine but you know what i don't think i've done bad for 
a mixed media card that is only one layer. Um, she's definitely, definitely challenged me and I have to say it has been fun. Um, I've learnt stuff along the way which is always good and I think that's one thing that um, is really, really nice, isn't it? That we learn about our products. I really, really like that. How cute is that? Right, okay. So I'm just going to, this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but we're just gonna add some splatters. Because I need to add splatters. I need white. We need white as well. So let me just clean this off. Where's that page that, there it is. So just because I don't want to waste any products. And like I say, we can use this in something else. Okay. Right, okay, so that's my little desky bit all nice and cleaned. Right, I do want to add some white in. So I'm going to add some white splashes. So let's grab a little bit of white. Like that. And see if we could, because I don't want big ones. So the, I think it's the smaller the brush, the finer your splatters are. The larger your brush, the bigger they are. So um, we'll stick with the this one. Just more water. So I'm just using my white gesso for this, and adding in as much as I can. Oh, yeah, isn't it just fab? I mean, they're a bit big, but that's fine. It is what it is. Right, okay. Lady, what you doing? <laughs> She's having a good scratch. Right, okay, so that is our card so far. See, we need, we need dimension. Right, what can I do now? Right, I'm thinking, because it's not quite there. Um, what about... I'm wondering whether or not let's blast it and to go around my edge with the seedless preserve um, I do want however I'm thinking that a couple of these maybe at the bottom might be nice right let's just dry it quickly like those bits but I am seriously finding this quite difficult because, I mean, just a giant thing there. Um, where's my little box? Right in front of me. I mean, no, box. Uh, I've got to tear the white shoes out of this little box. So, oh. just double check that that's on. Um, yeah. Okay, see, watch. You put something a little bit, look, look, look. How much, how awesome does that look now? Just by, mm, right, but we can't do that. We can't do it. Oh, Julia, what have you done to me? Um, What was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a go with this. Um, I do have um a little makeup brush, which I have to admit works wonderfully. And it just gives it, a really really soft feel instead of a harsh one so I'm going to do that all the way around the edge and I think I'm going to get my black pen out I think I'm going to go off or go over all of my lines um yeah I think that's what I'm going to do um right where is my black pens uh that one should do because I'm thinking that just by going over the black lines might be enough. Um, this one, however, isn't working very well. Yeah, it feels like it's about run out actually, unless it's just the mediums. Yeah, see there, I mean that straight away, just adding, going over my lines has made a huge, huge difference. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera because um, I don't think you need to see me um, going over all of the lines for this. Um, 
and then um, we'll come back and decide what we're going to do next but yeah it, it's just missing something I, I, I'm going to put um, a title on it but I, I need it I feel like I need to put sort of dimension on like I mean look just by adding that would make a difference and I can't do that oh this is so hard oh what I might do is I could always just put a coat of white gesso or something right I don't know anyway I'm gonna go over my black lines and then I'll be back okay so I'm much much happier with that where I have put in all of um, the black now what I've done is I've colored in um, the border here um, on the stamp where's it okay so this bit here um, I've colored it in black and then I've just got my white jelly roll pen I'm hoping this works um, but I'm going to just put it doesn't, do you know white pens never seem to work for me for some reason um, so I'm just going to add um, the white in around and then using the same white pen um, because I do think it just this there's something missing I know what's missing dimensions missing um, oh, I like that um, so I've got to sort of think how I'm going to go about dimension without actually adding anything onto the card and the answer to that is I have no idea so um, I'm wondering whether to do shading with the pen so we can do like a white outline outline over the top of it that may work yeah that could work um, I'm just going to put some white into these and just yep yeah. why not okay um i'm wondering whether to just do a nice little white border instead of a black one because i was thinking a black but yep yeah. oh, i quite like the white and then just have some squiggles right okay now do i want to add any Oh, I think that might be nice. So, just ever so softly. Now, I know we don't have to use these, but actually, that really, really works nicely with it. So, I'm just going to use, and because I'm using a makeup brush, it is a lot, lot, um, it's a lot sort of softer which is really really nice so yeah okay right oh see that really 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 does help that makes this card so much better you wouldn't think just something so small could really change um, the look of a card would you but yeah I think I'm just gonna go around the back um, just so the back all nicely blends in as well why not so I'll colour that in while I've got all of this ink because like I say, it's pointless um, wasting our ink isn't it there we go nice right okay um, last thing is we do need a sentiment so I'm thinking um, that's too big oh I'm thinking maybe best memories no good times I'm going to go with good times so I'm just going to stick this on here and then once I've done this we are done and I can officially say I have you done two one layer cards no cheating or anything even though I'm so dying to cheat I'm dying just to get some white card out to stamp on my sentiment but yeah never mind okay right just push that in there very interested to see how Julia do go over she's a pro at this she knows how to do a one layer card perfectly um, she knows um, what she's doing and what she's talking about so yeah do go over and see her that is so so wonky ah right okay so let's just I don't know highlight the fact it's wonky <laughs> I just want it because I'm wanting to have it so that it stands out okay yeah I think that works and then 
I'm just going to do some cross stitching like what Julia does because I do think it works. She'll have to bring out a stamp, won't she, of cross stitching. Oh, love! Right, I think I can safely say that I am finished. So, wow, was that intense yes it was i mean two very very different cards but i have to say i'm loving it um yeah really loving it love 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 this one um you know just that that white pen that white pen has really made a difference to this card there's so many different ways we can create a one layer card and i highly suggest that you do try because it is fun and it is um especially if you're not used to it it's making you um step out of your comfort zone really um but oh, love absolutely love it um yeah really really pleased with how they've turned out like i say if you want to see somebody who knows exactly what they're doing do pop over to see julia um also do subscribe to her as well and show her that support i know you all um do love watching her just as much as i do um yeah and we will both see you very very soon um in another Dawn and Julie Creates. I'm going to go and watch hers. Um, I will be there six o'clock ready and waiting to watch hers because I know she's just going to, yeah, knock this out of the park. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as me and I will see you very, very soon in another video. But until then, please do take care and happy crafting. Bye.